And we're back in Kansas City and the Chief Faithful loving this era. Rankins is down. Someone wanted a touchdown. Someone wanted to see six after she got seven on Wednesday night. Yep, that's who wanted to see it. Yeah. <laughs>are becoming more serious in Taylor and Travis's universe by the minute, especially with Taylor's mom Andrea's huge Travis Kelsey nod at the Bengals game, which gave away a huge, huge hint. And you're so ready to hear it. But that's not the end of it. If we're talking about the Bengals game, we can't skip talking about the huge trolling Travis Kelsey pulled on Taylor at the Bengals game. We are legit rolling on the floor. Taylor wasn't a fan though, understandably. Nevertheless, what's a love story without some good leg pulling? Wear your big girl panties, Taylor. And yes, let's also talk about the feud with Brittany Mahomes, because it is on fire now after Taylor and Travis's absence from Patrick Mahomes' birthday bash, just hours after the game, where both were present. Coming back to Travis, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Travis is facing stark criticism for his progressively worse performances on the field, with whispers that Taylor has become a very negative distraction for him. Let's jump in. Deeper Hidden Support Taylor's mom Andrea recently made a splash with a sweet yet telling show of support for Travis during the Kansas City Chiefs' second game of the 2024 season. Decked out in a bold red outfit, Andrea was right there in the stands, clearly backing her daughter's relationship with Kelsey. But it was a small accessory, a pin on Andrea's sweater that read, In My 87 Era, that really got fans talking. The pin, which cleverly combines Taylor's Eras Tour theme with Kelsey's jersey number, set off a flurry of excitement and speculation. While it seems like a cute nod to the couple, insiders think it might signal something more significant. It's like Andrea's way of giving a thumbs up to the relationship, hinting that Taylor's family is all in. This little gesture has fans buzzing about the seriousness of Taylor and Travis's romance. Social media is abuzz with everything from cheers to deep dives into what this parental endorsement might mean. Some even wonder if this could be a sign of something more serious on the horizon, maybe even an engagement? With Taylor taking a break from her tour, fans are eagerly speculating about whether she'll be back at more Chiefs games with her family in tow. The rumors and excitement are definitely not slowing down anytime soon. Almost touchdown drama. When it comes to the game, Taylor's emotional roller coaster was just as thrilling as the action on the field thanks to a near touchdown, or should we say huge troll, by Travis Kelsey. As Kelsey charged toward the end zone, looking like he was about to score, Swift's reaction was an event in itself, pure unfiltered excitement. The cameras captured Swift's ecstatic response perfectly. You could see her almost vibrating with anticipation as Kelsey barreled down the field. Her cheers and repeated oh my god filled the air with a contagious energy, making it seem like the touchdown was already a done deal. For a split second, it was all about her joy and support for Kelsey, and her spirited celebration was a testament to her deep connection to him. But of course, the high didn't last long. As the play played out, it became clear that Kelsey's impressive run came up just short of the end zone. The next play saw offensive lineman Wanya Morris swoop in for the actual touchdown, putting a quick end to Swift's moment of triumph. Her brief burst of celebration was overshadowed by the reality of the game, showing just how fleeting those euphoric highs can be. This dramatic swing from exhilaration to reality has sparked a lot of chatter about Taylor's commitment to Travis. Insiders think that her over-the-top reaction, even though the play didn't end in a touchdown, really shows how genuinely invested she is in his success. The brief emotional moment has ignited fan curiosity and speculation about Taylor and Travis's relationship, making it a hot topic long after the game ended.
And we're back in Kansas City and the Chief Faithful loving this era. Rankins is down. Someone wanted a touchdown. Someone wanted to see six after she got seven on Wednesday night. Yeah, that's who wanted to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Party invite controversy. Moving on to some feud news. Brittany Mahomes threw a jaw-droppingly fabulous birthday bash for her husband Patrick to celebrate his 29th birthday, right after the Chiefs' win in the Bengals game. The party featured a stunning balloon arch and personalized decorations, setting the scene for a lively celebration. However, the guest list, or rather, the notable absences, has got people talking, especially about whether Taylor and Travis were on it at all. Despite Taylor Swift's enthusiastic support at the Chiefs game earlier in the day, she was noticeably missing from the party, as Britney's social media posts made clear. This absence, along with Travis's, has led to speculation about the current state of their relationship with the Mahomes family. Although it was previously stated that there was no bad blood between them due to the ongoing political endorsement controversy, and with insiders suggesting that the guest list drama might not be directly tied to these issues, Yet still the timing of the whole thing seems rather uncanny, given their BFF image until just a few games ago, and we all know what changed in the period in the middle, so it's hard not to speculate. Swift and Mahomes have been seen hanging out together before, but their political differences seem to have influenced their public interactions. With Swift's endorsements and Mahomes' social media posts, it's clear there are some tensions. Still, insiders say that despite these differences, Swift and Mahomes are trying to keep their friendship intact agreeing to steer clear of politics to avoid conflict. So, while the absence from the party might look suspicious, it might just be a coincidence rather than a sign of a serious rift. As the NFL season rolls on, all eyes will be on whether Swift and Kelsey pop up at future Mahomes family events or if this slight absence indicates a shift in their public relationship. Uh-oh, look who's here. How about that? Another Taylor. Swift. High IQ for Fred Sinner is also incredibly well prepared, analytical, smart. Fred Sinner is also incredibly well prepared, analytical, smart. High IQ for Fred Sinner is also incredibly well prepared, analytical. Want to take pictures? <laughs> yeah, that's all that. She's called Corsai. Kelsey's performance concerns. While all seems well and dandy in Travis's personal life, his recent unimpressive performances career-wise have been the talk of the town, especially with the added spotlight of his relationship with Taylor. During the Chiefs' nail-biting 26-25 win over the Bengals, Kelsey's impact was pretty minimal. He snagged just one catch for five yards. This followed a lackluster performance in Week 1, where he managed only 34 yards on three catches. Fans are buzzing with theories about whether his high-profile romance with Swift might be affecting his game. While some speculate that the whirlwind of fame and personal life might be distracting him, it's worth noting that Kelsey and Swift have been dating for over a year, and his performance issues started before their relationship became public. Critics point out that Kelsey's struggles could be a result of the natural wear and tear of his 12th NFL season. 
Even with his star status and the hefty paycheck as the highest paid tight end, his recent stats are a sharp drop from his usual high level of play. In past seasons, Kelsey consistently racked up over 1,000 yards and was crucial in the Chiefs' Super Bowl victories. With the Chiefs set to face off against the Atlanta Falcons next, all eyes will be on Kelsey to see if he can bounce back and regain his top form. While the impact of Swift's influence on his game is still up for debate, the veteran tight end will need to address these performance issues to prove he's still a force on the field and keep his career on track. Tavis has changed each other. Since Travis and Taylor started dating in September 2023, they've been pretty much inseparable. They've been together for over a year now, and their public displays of affection and high-profile outings show no signs of slowing down. From belting out songs at the U.S. Open to cheering on the Chiefs at NFL games, their love story has become one of America's most adorable couples. It's almost like they're on a mission to prove that they're the ultimate power couple. It's pretty common for couples to let themselves go a bit as they get closer. There's even a joke about gaining the relationship 15 as a sign of true love. But Travis and Taylor seem to be sidestepping that trope, even though some fans have noticed that they've been through a bit of a style transformation since becoming the world's most famous couple. She's always been known for her classic sparkly gowns and laid-back makeup, but she's turning heads with a more high-fashion, edgy look recently. Her appearance at the 2024 VMAs was particularly striking, with a sexier vibe that left her girl-next-door image behind. Fans are loving Taylor's new look. One praised, Taylor Swift looks the best she's ever looked at the VMAs. Another added, she is owning her sexiness these days and I love it. While one wondered, is it too soon to say this is my fave look she's ever worn? And another noted, her makeup has been hitting different lately. So whether it's love or just a new chapter in their lives, both Travis and Taylor are definitely turning heads. If they stick together for another year, who knows what other style transformations might be in store. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you next time.